How's it going guys? This is Pascal at Tiny Campers. I'm here with Miguel and we're going to do a walkthrough of my recent uh, couples camper build. Uh, I've done a number of builds with this Sienna, um, but uh, this one I wanted to focus on uh, the idea that I would be traveling as a couple. So I wanted to make it very spacious, but at the same time very functional. And with all my builds, I always like to have some element of stealthness. So I'd like to be able to hang out in the car and, you know, even sleep at a Walmart if I want to. Never have. But anyways, uh, let me show you around. Back here is my kitchen, bathroom area. I guess I don't know what, how else to describe it. But um, the first thing I built was this, this bath basin right here and I wanted to make sure that this was very functional and I put everything in baskets so I could clear it out very easily but so this is my bath basin and I started off with this and I built things around this basin and it's basically made uh, with plywood and I lined it with uh, luxury vinyl so it's completely waterproof there's, there's no problems with that um, I have the, the drainage here that's a little sticky. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so uh, everything will drain down there. There's a hole that goes down underneath the car, of course. Uh, but there's there's no no issues with uh, leaking or anything like that. And it's also a storage area. So it's a bath basin, storage area, and all that good stuff. So I built my whole bathroom around that. I have that pop thing so I could close it so that there's no exhaust coming in the cars or anything like that. All right, so this is just kind of more storage area. This is my water, uh, just storage buckets and things like that. Uh, not, nothing fancy. I have, you know, my, my pea potties, things and stuff like that. Uh, um, so this, this is kind of like my bathroom and kitchen area. And that's, that's the way I wanted to make it, just really clean and out of the way. I have the plumbing that I worked around things so that, again, it wouldn't get in the way of things. You know, up here I have my sink. This is the bathroom sink and the kitchen sink. You know, just basic stuff. Uh, it's just a tub that uh, I put piping to. It's a collapsible tub. The, the water faucet is uh, this, this pump. Let me plug that in for you. So, so it just goes like this. And I have this PVC pipe so that the, the tube is nice and straight. So it's always on the bottom because the tube will tend to curl if you don't have that pipe, it'll curl a little bit. And you see, it's very water efficient. You know, it doesn't spend too much water and not too little either that is unfunctional. But, you know, it works out great. It's rechargeable and you don't have to deal with uh, any wiring or anything like that. So that's great. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could use this when I'm you know, cooking outside too. So. You know, I, I have this ability to even swing this around. Let me show you guys. So, take out this part. All right, so the reason why I made it uh, flexible that I could pull it out, swing it out, and uh, have the sink out here is, over here, what I have is my kitchen area. You could see, you know, I put a lot of stuff in there and I wanted to make it very flat so it fits into a very small area. And if you look at the space that I pulled it out of, it's very, very small. And it's amazing like how small it is and you can fit everything. Yes. So the, the reason why I was able to fit everything because I, I built everything around what I had. So, you know, I started with these burners and I built all these dividers around the burners. I built this according to the size of my spoon and my spatulas and the bowls and my plates. So everything, I took the plate, I built the wall, have my pot, I built the wall around it. You know, I had to build a slot for the handle and everything. So, you know, it's, it's custom made to the size of what I have. So, uh, a lot of camping areas, there's a picnic table and you don't want to walk between the picnic table and stuff. And literally, I'm going to show you guys, you could pick this up and put it on the picnic table and it's your cooking station and it's all here. This n nicely sits right here if you want to leave it like this. And of course, I, I also have these legs too. If, if you want to pull it out further, let me show you. And it's really simple. 
I just used um, some nuts and bolts I had laying around, but it's just a bolt and a wing nut. But this side has two. Anyways, there. It should have done that. Nice and easy. And what you can do is you could pull it out even further. So, you know, when you're cooking, it doesn't you know, get into the car or anything if you need a little bit more space. All right, so we got everything put away. And now that's, you saw the kitchen, the kitchen sink. Now this is the bath sink and we're gonna convert it to the bath. So first I have this, this stool, which is basically just a setup station. It packs away really nice. You sit down here and you do what you have to do in the morning. You brush your teeth, there's a mirror here. You got the soap, everything you need to get yourself ready in the morning while you're sitting right here. Um, in addition to being right here, this is the bathroom that we're in. And, you know, if, if you're a, a male, I have a little pad here for you to, you know, do your business in the morning. And you guys saw we have these things. You guys know what that is. It's Anyways, a must have. <laughs> it's a must have. And there's two because this is a couple's camper, one for, uh, one for each person because sharing is kind of gross with that. Um, so that leads us to the second person. And if the second person is a female, I have this handy dandy thing here. It just opens up real easy. And in here, I have the lid. So, you know, you could do your thing. Yes, it becomes a toilet and you, you can do uh, number number two. You know, here there's bags for that and even some kitty litter. I never want to use it, but I just have it there. It's nice to have, you never know. Never know. Yeah, it packs away really nice. And you know, again, I, because, um, the way I built this this shower tub, everything just kind of, I could just shove everything in this area right here. I do the build and I, I see gear that would fit and work well and, I, and that's what I buy and I try to work around what, what, what exists. Uh, I don't try to reinvent the wheel. So everything here, you know, you could get on Amazon, Home Depot, easy. Okay, so going back next, I have again shoved here. I have my shower curtains and you know you can't have a, sh a bath basin without shower curtains so I, I didn't want to have a bar across because I didn't want to hit my head on it so what I use is uh, just a bungee cable right so this bungee will go to one of the grab bars. And to the other grab bar like that. And this extension, I have a little uh, string that comes here. And this is extension will hook onto the, the curtain rod up here when the door is closed. So I'm just gonna leave it right there for now. This side, I have a little paper clip that this goes into. And that gives you a really nice barrier. Uh, all the water funnels down, no problem. So that's the look from this side. Of course, you need something on this side. I have some curtains on this side and I'll show you what the curtain looks like. It's just, just like this with Velcro. And uh, I have a Velcro strip up there and we'll have to look at, you can see it right here, but we'll have to take a look from the inside for you guys to really see what it looks like. A lot of times when you shower outside, it's cold. And I don't, I'm a big cold wimp. I don't want to shower outside because it's cold. If it's nighttime, it's cold. If uh, you're in here, you're nice and warm and it's private. That's always also nice. So it's just real easy with Velcros here.
again, you know, you got the plastic stool. And then you shower sitting down. Uh, there's a surprisingly a lot of room here, you know. <laughs> when you shower, you know, you, you do what you got to do. But it looks a little cramped, but really, there, there's plenty of room to, to get yourself clean. Uh, so if we come back around the outside, I'll show you uh, the water Sounds system good. that I use. And also I noticed that you can shower with a view. <laughs> right, if you're like in a national park, very private. You can, but... Uh, I, you prefer yeah, to close generally, it. Generally, <laughs> I'll, I'll close it. Yes. All right, so we're back here on this side. Of course, this is going to be all covered up. But what I, what I have here is, let me show you guys, this water sprayer. And it's basically like a garden water sprayer. It's rechargeable, so that's really nice. Uh, but one of the nice things is that it, it does shut off when you're not using the nozzle. So you just push the button uh, and then you spray. You can see the stream, it's, it's very water efficient. You're not gonna use a lot of water, which is really nice, but it's not so little that, you know, it's just a mist. So as you're sitting here, you know, you can give yourself a shower and do what you need to do. And you're not gonna need to worry about water getting in your car or anything because these curtains are going to take care of the job. And it's just all going to funnel down. And you save water because once you let go of the, the handle, well, of the, the lever, it'll stop. And for me, this actually worked out perfect because you could see this is where the third row middle seat, second row middle seat used to sit, but it just fits that perfectly. Almost like it was made for it. Just turn it off and you're good to go. And you're rarely ever level. So uh, after you shower, you may want to take a, a squeegee and just squeegee everything down. And that's it. And you know, it's still in here, you know, this is my, my toolbox. This is my assorted tools. You know, I have my drill. Uh, all that stuff, just like a little junk drawer for tools. Uh, you guys can now get an idea the length of the Sienna inside and maybe Pascal cover, I will say like 20-30% of the space and only the 20-30%. He already got a shower, <laughs> a sink, a cooking system, a tool storage. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Exactly, that's all in this back space right here. Right. And, and keep in mind, this, this was a third row seat back here, and I did have to remove the seat to, to expose this basin. Uh, you know, the, the seats laid flat, and it, it stored away perfectly, but I didn't want to waste that space. I wanted to use that space. So for here, I put my refrigerator, and I removed the center console that came with the van, and I replaced it with this uh, refrigerator here. And for the most part, uh, using solar power and the lithium battery, I could leave this refrigerator on forever and it'll re be recharged every day so uh, it's not the biggest refrigerator but it fits perfectly here and that's really important so if you put the refrigerator in the back in your your area it's going to take up space and that's very valuable space so that's why i moved it up here uh, so you know this is my my uh, setup this is an old gps let me turn this on but what I did was I had this, this CarPlay screen, so it, it's a better navigation system, basically. It allows me to use my, my phone GPS to sync up to it, and uh, I can have real-time traffic. This, this GPS sucks. <laughs> I don't want to use it. So most of you, you probably use your phone for GPS, and that's what I'm doing up here. And can you show us your uh, solar panel or tell us about it? Yeah, sure. Let's go up. All right, so I got two latches, one on each side. All right, so from up here, you know, I have a hinge on the solar panel. The solar panel also has a dual duty. Everything in my build has a dual duty. And one, of course, is to get me power. But two, it actually works as a lid to cover up the gear that I have in my tray. And in addition to that, I'm able to adjust the height of my panel. Get a better angle for the sun. Uh, I could make it more optimal. I think that's a really nice uh, mod to have, like being able to tilt yeah. the solar panel and you just use like basic build engineering kind of to build <laughs> and make it simple and work perfect. Exactly. So, you know, in the morning when the sun is low or in the evening when the sun is low and you just want to get a little bit more power, 
you'll, you're going to be able to do that with the flat setup. You won't be able to do that. How many watts is your panel? 110. 110, perfect. And you still have plenty of space over there. Yeah, for the there's plenty of space to store right. more stuff. This is where all my fishing gear stuff and goes. You know, stuff that I, you know, I don't want to keep inside. Inside, I'd like to keep it clean and, and easy to move around. Okay. We're here. Mm -hmm. Inside the tray, I have my my outdoor shower container. And this is made from a f vinyl fence post. So this is custom made. That's why it fits perfectly, because I cut it to fit perfectly. I wanted to maximize how much water I could get into there and, and still you know, fit inside the tray. Um, it doesn't sit on top, so it's still very aerodynamic. You know, with the wind guard takes care of everything. Because it's black, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna warm up the water on hot days. So I have an air valve right here. You need that since it's gravity fed. And I just rigged up this nozzle right here. And with all these things, you know, it's just the, the clicking type. So it just clicks in like that. And once, once it's clicked in. Wow. And that's enough yeah. to take a shower. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. enough water to take a shower. Amazing. So that, that's nice, it's a nice option. And uh, that, that's a, you know, it's a water container, so it has a dual purpose. And if you look inside, I don't have a lot of room to store water. And the reason is I store water up there too. Great, you know, just not gray water, but just non-drinking water I store up there. And I'm able to use this and use the quick connect. And from here, I'm able to just add water into any of my systems. This build, I just wanted to make it simple and really functional. So everything, like I said, has, has a dual purpose and it's, uh, it's gonna have to fit two people moving around. That's the idea. And I also noticed that your Sienna in general looks pretty stealthy. So like if I see your Sienna park in any parking lot on the streets, I would just feel like it's a regular van. Exactly, right? yes. And, and actually that leads us into the next thing. So I have these curtains and you can see it folds out over there, but uh, let's go on the inside and then I'll show you what the, all the curtains look like. So when I'm in privacy mode or stealth mode, uh, I have curtains to cover everything up. And I didn't, I used to use Reflectex and I, I you wedge it in the area, but if you guys ever use that, you know, it, it, there's some effort to, to getting everything installed and making it nice and clean, then you have to fold it up and put it away. But with the curtains, you just leave it where it is and then you pull it. Okay, so for these curtains, I just have them held up by these little rope ties. And you can see, I can convert into privacy mode pretty easy. And if you want to go stealth mode, of course you're going to have to cover up some gaps. But, you know, to get into the private, taking a shower mode or whatever you have, uh, it's pretty easy. And you don't have to cover up all the gaps if you don't want to. It's okay. So the, that's the curtains back here. Let me show you the side curtains. So for here on the side curtains, it's real easy. Half of it's already covered. And then this just covers that side. Real nice and simple. Again, it's just that the curtains, you just draw it. Over here, concept is the same. All right, so for the, the front side, same thing. I just got ropes holding them all up. And these curtains just slide right over. All these curtains, they're all blackout curtains, you know, house blackout curtains, so they cover up really nicely. And you can see when, when, when all the curtains are pulled, it's very stealth. Nobody knows you're in here. You can relax without people seeing that you're in here or anything like that. So, I mean, that, that's really, really nice. Uh, you know, this, this last one, this one's a little trickier. And this window here, because I, again, I didn't want to make it cumbersome, but I have some blackout curtains that I cut and I have a rod on the inside here and I use what it came with. You know, this is made for that, but I use that hook that it came with to be able to cover that up. Once everything's covered up, you know, everything 
fits in really nicely. Nobody knows you're in here. Nobody knows you're in here and have a complete dual house yeah. inside. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a little house. It's a tiny home in here. For all the, everything that I did, I have a, a separate video, you know, to show you how I did the, the bath basin, how I did the countertop, how I did the bed, you know, the, the bathroom sink, all that stuff. I have a separate video for everything apart from this tour. So there's, there's, there's a semi-instructional video I have for everything that I do so that everyone can kind of see. It's not that hard. You can do it yourself. All right, so when you're in stealth or privacy mode, you know, it gets a little bit dark and I have this light here. And this light, you know, it's just a remote control. I, I have a, 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 a magnet for that. But this lights everything up. Real, it's actually pretty darn bright. It's, it's rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about wiring it or anything like that. Uh, it's also by a magnet, so you could take it off, recharge it, replace it with another one. I actually have three of these, so if this runs out of batteries, I'll swap it out, and then I'll, I can recharge this one. So I'm never out of light. And just power it off so right here you guys might be wondering what this is and this is my hamper uh, I, I took a trip and I had some dirty clothes I had to keep away from me and I, I, I was thinking man I need a hamper too so this is a college dorm size hamper that I uh, connected to the back of the seat and, and I have paper clips holding it nice and flush but you know it, it actually turned out to work really well fits perfect and you can see it, it looks like it belongs I need one of those now. <laughs> I think everyone needs one of these. So first with this bed, I, this bed is critical for having a couple's camper because it's got to be big enough for two people. But you know, you can see there's not a lot of space. So that's why I wanted to make it as low as possible. And, and that's why uh, that pull out drawer uh, being the shape and space efficient was so important is because I didn't want to take any more space up here. This is pretty much the max I wanted to go. Uh, okay, so this bed, so I, I, I tore apart a futon <laughs> and I, I took some of the mechanisms on the futon. But the idea is that when it's in, in sofa mode, you know, there, there's plenty of room for you to move around. You can relax. You can watch a movie here if you want. Uh, you can cook, you know, whatever it is. Um, but uh, when, when it's in a bed, you know, we've we got to make it big enough for two people. So I have it so that you can pull it out. And, what, and I have a little block to hold it, so I can't pull it out any further. So you know you're as far as you need to go, and it stops there. And once you stop, you just come over here, click, and everything nice. lays down flat. And you can see I have a little extension right here. Okay, and with this extension, it's very important because um, if, if you're on a normal twin bed, you have to stop here because your arms can't go any further and you're going to take a lot of space from the second person. But you can see the shape. Yes, it is nice. shaped like your arm because that's the way we're going to lay and we're going to maximize our space by just really sleeping right on the edge. And this, this also works as a bench, you know, when, when you're out here sitting or something like that. So I wanted to make it very functional too. So on top of that bench, you know, there's a little bit of space and I didn't want to lose that space either. So I built a little rack for a little storage, just for little things, like, you know, flashlights, bug spray, sunblock, uh, air compressor in case you need that. But even in here, you know, there's some space here I didn't want to lose either, you know, um, hiking stoves and things like that. I got my water purifier in the back. So anyways, I'm just trying to use every little bit of space I can. I, I don't want to waste any space. Uh, this drawer, I'll show you right now because we're here, but it comes out and it's just an assorted junk drawer that I got. Uh, cables and stuff like that, games and feel. Um, but the nice thing is that you can access this from the other side too. I, I made it so that it opens both ways so you don't have to climb inside to get something from that drawer. So that was bed mode, guys, and now we're gonna move to the cabinet, right? Yeah, let's go to the cabinet. So uh, we'll, we'll just leave that messy, but here, we'll sit here in the cabinet. And this cabinet, uh, if you see, there's, there's really no legs outside of this, and what's holding this up, I wish I could show it to you, but it's in one of my videos, you'll be able to see it, but 
there's a cup holder right here and I built a mount within that cup holder and I, I mounted the table to the cup holder and that's what's holding it up on this side and it's very very stable no problem you know I got some plastic drawers it's nice to have the plastic drawers because it's light you know you don't want to have a lot of weight on it uh, I have a strap here to hold it to make sure everything's in really tight so this is the belt buckle bolt coming over here this is also a no drill proposition uh, this is my pantry and because it's inside that window reservoir area I, I can put a lot of stuff in here I mean you can see there there's quite a bit of stuff and you know there's, there's room for even a little bit more stuff in there if you want yeah, and this there's no drilling here either what I did was I used a little eye, eye bolt right here for one end and the other end on this back side I used the seat belt bolt too. There's another bolt like this up there and I just bolted it into that. So it, it actually works out really nice. You know, I got some extra lights if you need some lights. Uh, you know here I, I have my, my towel bar so when I'm parked I'll move it over. There's a fan. And there's also this space up here. I mean, I mean, there's there's plenty of space. I haven't even filled up all the space yet. Uh, you know, I got my rice cooker right here. Uh, but all this stuff, all these electronics and stuff you see that require a plug, I installed this plug right here down here, and that's it connected to my uh, 1500 watt inverter. There's also USB ports, so let's say if I want to uh, make some coffee, what I'll do is I'll just plug it in as I need it. You know, I, I don't leave it plugged in. I have the microwave plug right here, uh, so I just plug that in as I need it. And this is also additional storage space uh, that I haven't used yet. You know, you can put some clothes or something down there. Okay, so you know the microwave is a 0.7 cubic uh, feet microwave, but you can see it's it's plenty big for anything that you do uh, it fits in real nice and I built around it again you know this is not something I built and uh, I just tried to find stuff that fit I, I bought the stuff and I built around the stuff that way everything is nice and compact and it fits real nice uh, so down here I have some some more storage space and uh, you know this is a waffle maker grill which believe it or not you know I've cooked steaks on this so if you want to not pull out the, the gas stove or anything like that, you could just plug it in, cook something small on this. And it works really nice. You could think of it as like a small George Foreman type grill. So that, you know, I just keep in there assorted junk. Right here, there's, there's an extension. So if you need a little bit more, a little bit more counter space, you know, you could click this up. Uh, you know, if you have two people, you got a bunch of food laying around or whatnot, you could click that up. Uh, in addition, this is also um, a spot that's good to cook because it, here, here's the window. You know, if even if the door is closed and you want to crack it open or something like that, I got a fan right here if you want to uh, blow the stuff out. But I have this this mini stove right here. It's just a, a camping stove. And you screw it in. You can cook right here on, on this spot. You know, it's something small. From morning coffee. Exactly. Well, I have a coffee maker. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I, I used to boil my water for morning coffees, and I was thinking, that's too much effort. That's why I went with the coffee maker. And also I noticed that you can move freely, like when it comes to using the sink, the microwave, or cooking, you can sit and move around and you don't have to deal with yeah. bending too much exactly going your your needs also so, you can cook breakfast there and somebody can come here to pick up the breakfast they can <laughs> I, I could i could sell right. food exactly. <laughs> yeah so you know it i didn't want to make it just a big bed because if you had a big bed you might sleep well but you know you'll have to roll around and you know, your shoes are dirty you don't want to step on your bed but here you could come in with dirty shoes and it's not an issue you, you, you're not going to have a problem you have one person here and really there's plenty of room for the other person to walk around and to get to this site uh, you know they swap spaces no problem you know, if you think about it one person's you know on this end they have plenty of space to do whatever they want to do and there's room over here for everybody room for two remember couples camper 
You can even sit three people over there in that vet. Oh, uh, yeah. That, you, you, that's can how sit, long it is. <laughs> you can sit three pretty easily, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's look at the, the power. All right, so you saw my appliances, and what powers everything is this lithium-ion battery. And I have it right here, and I built everything around it again. Another situation where I built it around, and you could just... The wires are a little tight right now, but I have everything strapped in. But anyways, uh, you, you'll see it's a 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. And it just slides in and out like that. And this one is being charged while you're driving, right? Uh, if and I want to. And also by solar. Yes. Yeah. But mostly you use it like with the solar or? Yes. 90% uh, of the time it's solar power. Solar power. I don't even need to charge it with the car alternator. Uh, it gives me all the power I need, but sometimes if it's been raining for a whole day or something, you might need a, uh, the alternator to help you out. But for me, I don't camp when it's cold. I don't camp when it rains. I just don't camp in bad conditions. I, I'm too wimpy for that. But anyway, so that, that powers everything, and I have the wires routed to the inverter over here. Yeah, so I actually have to move the seat for you to see the inverter. So I have this inverter that, that the seat will just slide on top of. And here's the plug. I have also a external battery if I need to have some power that's outside of the area. But you can see all the wires and stuff, they, they all tuck nice and neatly underneath the, the driver's seat. Here's the charge regulator. So I, I built this switch box, you know, just, just for some basic stuff for me to switch between uh, solar charging and ca car alternator charging and for the refrigerator to run off either the lithium battery or off the car battery while you're driving you know you don't want to drain the lithium battery if you don't need to thank you so much for sharing all your view i appreciate that pascal thank you so much again thank you my uh, pleasure to have you as a guest in the channel and hopefully we can do more content together <laughs> that'd be fun Okay guys, so this one was Pascal from Tiny Campers with his awesome build. See you!